Okay, so um, for the future, we talk about vinyl releases, uh, but I wanted to uh, say a little bit more, more details about what's coming. Uh, we have a pretty big release in my view. You know, it's an artist that I, I really respect, uh, Crystal Geometry. So we're gonna have a, a release with Crystal Geometry coming. We have one with uh, um, Brian Valenzuela, who we did a release that did really well really great producer uh, used a lot of modular and really um, strong energy on his tracks uh, we have another from Tono from Midwest here in, in, in the US and then uh, we have a release from a new artist that we found called Seven Sins um, we really like that um, and then we have two VAs from upcoming artists um, like I said most of our VAs come from demos that we get where, you know, maybe not all the tracks they send are okay for the label, but maybe one or two. So we pick those, we put them on a queue, and then we release six at a time. That's the format of, of Ritual. Uh, we have uh, basically seven releases so far. No, wait, eight. So um, uh, that one is coming as well with a, a, a nice uh, list of artists. Um, and then we have a release from Dualist as well, and uh, I'm working also on one record of mine coming. Um, so yeah, we have uh, pretty much the whole year set with releases, and we keep getting demos for you know the upcoming VAs uh, for for next year. Um, <clears throat> another thing I wanted to mention: uh, we we're not a you know, promoters company or anything, but we throw some parties mostly to promote the artists and, and the label, right? So we're not, you know, trying to make money or business out of parties, uh, but but I like to promote. So we had a few showcases here in LA, um, and then uh, back in maybe six, seven years ago, I was doing a party in Detroit during, during movement uh, with uh, two partners with Steven and uh, um, uh, Rolando. So Rolando's from Arizona, Steven from Detroit. Uh, and then uh, we were throwing those parties at the works, um, but the club unfortunately disappeared. Uh, they closed it down. It's supposed to be open, but it hasn't been open yet. So that's why we stopped throwing those parties. Um, but this year we were able to uh, secure a venue. So we're throwing a party on May 25th, uh, Saturday uh, during movement. So that's basically for me the biggest news of the year because you know that I think when we start throwing those parties, it really helped the label to the name of it. Cause you know, most of the techno heads come to Detroit during May. So then that really had to you know get the name out there and, and you know omen so we had actually during all these years that we stopped throwing the party i i kept getting emails from people hey are you gonna throw the party again when you know uh you should really do it and stop but you know we just didn't have a venue it's kind of hard when you're not in town you know because you really need to know people and stuff and, so, um, so this year I'm partnering with uh, Hardware Chicago, which is a, a productions company there that, uh, you know, brings a lot of people together. And then uh, there's these guys from Redline that are also um, kind of friends with Hardware. Um, we're booking one of the Redline guys. Um, and then um, Compressor, uh, producer from Chicago is, is one of my partners. And, uh, so yeah, we're, we're trying this party with uh, Adam X, uh, Orfex, um, Dualist, Headless Horseman, EAS, um, myself, and uh, Sebastian, and Derek, um, and Kula. So it's a pretty stacked lineup. I, I really work on, on get it. Uh, I guess heavy enough to compete, you know, because in Detroit there's always these big parties with big names and everywhere. So, so I really try to um, focus on the darkness again, you know, so that I can maybe pull the people, you know, that still like that kind of sounds and maybe they tired about the movement, you know, 
mainstream sounds and they want to go to the after with a little more um, darkness and stuff so so yeah it's gonna be a small party compared to the others we're expecting between three and four hundred people uh, the sales are doing really well I think we're about 30% sold and we still have you know a few months so so pretty happy and uh, you know hopefully people uh, support us I can see that with the sales that people are you know getting into it um, but but yeah that's that's the the big plan um, <clears throat> now in terms of Axcan I have a few gigs I think um, I have a gig in Chicago coming in April um, and then I, I have a um, pretty big gig in Berlin in June, end of June at Tresor. So this will be my second show at Tresor. And then I'm playing London the week after. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little mini tour again. Um, I'm still trying to find another gig possibly during that 10 days that I'll be in Europe. So, um, but for now it's just those two. Um, and then uh, we will be trying to throw something maybe around Halloween uh, with with my friends here from probably um, either Singularity or uh, maybe I talk to uh, my friends from Fallout, which is a little more, uh, you know, BDSM and like industrial EVM. But, but I think if, if we manage to get the right artists, they, they'll be probably interested. Like I, um, last year we brought uh, Crystal Geometry and they really like him because he's more EBM sounds. Um, then we got Jay Garrett for another uh, showcase there. Um, so yeah, those, those are like the plans in terms of events uh, for Omen this year.